Want to know how to command respect without saying a single word? Let's dive into five powerful strategies that anyone can apply to become more valued and respected. From maintaining a powerful posture to taking care of your appearance through genuine listening skills, controlling emotions, and being consistently reliable, each point is a key piece that reflects your value and character without the need for words. Stay with us and discover how to transform your silent presence into a source of influence and respect. Bun, powerful posture. So let's get straight to the point. Your posture can be your greatest ally or your worst enemy when it comes to how people perceive you. Think about it. Even before you speak a word, your posture is already sending clear messages to those around you. And the message you want to send is one of self-control and assurance, right? Here's why and how you can achieve exactly that. An upright and confident posture is not just about aesthetics. It's an external manifestation of how you feel internally. When you're slouched or hunched, you might convey the impression of being insecure or disheartened. On the other hand, keeping your shoulders back and your head held high is a powerful non-verbal statement that you are in control of the situation and ready to face any challenge. The Stoics, ever wise, value self-discipline as a way to cultivate and demonstrate inner strength. They understand that controlling what we can, such as our own posture, is fundamental to living a virtuous and respected life. This isn't just an ancient philosophy, it's a relevant practice that can be applied with visible results in your life today. Start by paying attention to your posture while sitting, especially if you spend many hours in front of the computer or looking at your phone. It's easy to fall into the trap of hunching over these devices. Make conscious adjustments, align your spine, pull your shoulders back and lift your head. These small changes not only improve your posture, but also enhance your concentration and even alleviate body pains that may arise from poor posture. Now think about when you're standing, when entering a room, whether at a meeting, interview or social event, take a few seconds to center yourself. Take a deep breath, relax your shoulders, then position them back, lift your head and fix your gaze. This posture immediately elevates your presence. You'll appear more approachable, more confident, and most importantly, someone who respects themselves and by extension deserves the respect of others. This also extends to how you walk. A confident walk is decisive with firm steps and a posture that screams self-assurance. There's no need to rush. Walk at a pace that signals you are sure of where you're going and what you need to do. Each step you take confidently builds an aura of authority and command. But why does this really matter? Because body language speaks louder than words in many cases. In situations where you need to establish credibility quickly, whether with new colleagues, in a negotiation or in an interview, a powerful posture can set the tone for the interaction before a single word is spoken. To really embody this powerful posture, practice regularly. Like any other skill, the more you practice, the more natural it becomes. Use a mirror to self-evaluate or, even better, record videos of yourself while practicing speeches or presentations. This will not only help you adjust your posture, but also allow you to notice other aspects of your body language that may need improvement. Remember that adopting a powerful posture is not just about how others see you, but also about how you see yourself. By consciously adopting a posture that projects confidence and control, you begin to feel more powerful. It's a positive cycle. Your posture influences your mind and your mind, in turn, reinforces your posture. So, the next time you prepare for an important event, take a moment to align your body and mind. Remember that your posture is not just a part of how you are perceived, but a reflection of your internal discipline and self-respect.
With this simple yet powerful tool, you're ready to not only be seen, but be respected and valued. 2. Listen more, speak less. In a noisy world filled with voices clamoring for attention, becoming a good listener is a true art form and an act of respect. It's not just about staying silent while the other person speaks. It's about actively engaging with an open mind and a heart ready to understand, not just to respond. This is the principle that the Stoics advocate, listen to learn and grow, not just to argue or offer a quick response. When you listen attentively, you absorb not only what is being said, but also what is not being directly expressed. You catch nuances, emotions, hesitations. This requires more than just attentive ears. It demands full presence. Imagine the difference this can make in your personal and professional relationships. Being known as someone who truly listens can transform you into a person to whom others turn for advice and trust. Someone whose opinion is valued because they know you truly understand. Moreover, listening with attention and empathy can help resolve conflicts more effectively. In many discussions, people are not looking for solutions or advice. They want to be heard and validated. By providing that space for someone, you contribute to a more harmonious and understanding environment, whether at home, at work, or in any social setting. Being a good listener also means knowing when and how to intervene. It's not about being silent all the time, but about choosing the right moment to speak. This can be particularly powerful in work situations where power dynamics often dictate who speaks and who is heard. By demonstrating that you value everyone's ideas and contributions, regardless of their status, you can inspire respect and foster a culture of openness and inclusion. Now, think about the last time you felt truly heard. It's likely that this memory brings a feeling of warmth and appreciation for the person who gave you their full attention. This is the power of being a good listener. It not only improves the quality of your interactions, but also enriches your personal life making you a more aware, sensitive, and connected person. I want to sincerely thank everyone who has made donations to the channel. Your support not only helps us continue producing quality content, but also shows how much you value our work. Thank you so much for being with us on this journey. To develop this skill, start by practicing active listening. This involves more than just hearing the words, it's about understanding the full context, including the emotions and intentions behind the words. Ask open-ended questions that encourage the other person to express themselves more deeply. Reflect on what has been said to ensure that you have understood and offer feedback that shows you are engaged. Additionally, be mindful of body language, both yours and that of the person you are speaking with. Eye contact, a nod of the head, and an open posture can do wonders to make the other person feel comfortable and understood. And, of course, keep your phone or any other distractions out of sight to show that your attention is not divided. Stoicism teaches us that wisdom comes not only from thinking and speaking, but also from listening. By adopting a stance of openness and receptiveness, you not only improve your communication skills, but also become a more compassionate and balanced individual. This, in turn, draws others to you, creating a virtuous cycle of mutual learning and respect. The next time someone speaks to you, see it as an opportunity to practice your art of listening. Give that person the gift of your full attention. Don't just listen, but understand. Don't interrupt, don't judge, just be there fully present. This is one of the greatest acts of respect you can offer, and the rewards of this practice are immeasurable. Not only will you become more valued, but you will also deeply enrich your interactions and relationships. 3. Emotional Control Emotional Control This is a skill that, when mastered, elevates not just how you interact with the world, but how the world responds to you. 
Imagine yourself in a stressful situation, be it a heated argument or a tight deadline at work. If you can remain calm while everyone around you is losing their heads, this not only boosts your effectiveness, but also strengthens the respect others have for you. The Stoics, masters in the art of serenity, teach us the practice of selective indifference, the ability to consciously choose which external events will influence our emotions. This does not imply a lack of empathy or disinterest, but rather a powerful decision not to let the fluctuations and storms of the external environment disturb our internal state of mind. Starting with the workplace where we are often tested, emotional control can be a transformative tool. The ability to stay balanced and focused under pressure is seen as strong and reliable leadership. This not only propels your career but also creates an atmosphere of calm and resolution around you, inspiring your team to adopt a similar approach. In personal relationships, the importance of emotional control becomes even more evident. Conflicts, big or small, are inevitable. However, responding to these conflicts with a clear mind and a calm heart can prevent misunderstandings from turning into lasting resentments. This ability to respond rather than react adds a layer of maturity and understanding to your relationships, making them deeper and more meaningful. Practicing emotional control also improves your overall well-being. Chronic stress, as we know, can have devastating effects on physical and mental health. Learning to stay calm in the face of provocations and pressures can literally prolong your life. Reducing risks associated with stress, such as hypertension and heart diseases. Moreover, this internal serenity often translates into a more relaxed and youthful appearance, positively influencing how others perceive and interact with you. But how can you develop this critical competency? It all starts with self-awareness. Recognize and understand your emotions. Ask yourself why a particular situation provokes a strong emotional response in you. By doing this, you gain the ability to slow down your reaction, choosing a more considered and deliberate response. Additionally, breathing techniques and meditation can be valuable allies. These practices help center your mind and calm your body, preparing you to face challenges with a more controlled attitude. A simple pause to breathe deeply can be enough to interrupt the automatic cycle of emotional response, giving you time to assess the situation more clearly. Incorporating the habit of reflecting on your daily interactions is also helpful. At the end of the day, take a moment to think about the times you were able to maintain emotional control and the times you did not. Learn from both experiences, reinforcing behaviors that worked well and adjusting where there were failures. The practice of emotional control, as taught by Stoicism, is not a path to becoming insensitive or distant. On the contrary, it is a means to a more fulfilling and harmonious life, in which you choose which battles are worth fighting and which emotions deserve your investment. By mastering this art, you not only become a better leader, a better friend and a better partner, but also a more complete and resilient person. This power to remain centered and calm is not just admirable, it's a quiet but incredibly effective way to earn the respect and admiration of everyone around you. Therefore, the next time you find yourself in the eye of an emotional storm, remember that you have the power not to let it drag you down. Stand firm, consciously choose your emotions, and watch how the world around you begins to shape up in a more respectful and positive way. 4. Be consistent. Consistency is not just a word, it's a powerful declaration of who you are and what you stand for. In this volatile world, being someone who remains true to their principles and values in all situations is not just admirable, it's revolutionary. And when you are consistent, people around you start to notice. 
They see you as a solid rock in a sea of shifting sands, someone who does not change their opinion with the wind, and this builds an incredible level of respect and trust. Think about the most respected and influential leaders you know. What do they have in common? They practice what they preach and do so consistently. They are not caught in contradictions because their actions reflect their beliefs, regardless of the circumstances. This not only makes them reliable, but also predictably reassuring. In a world full of uncertainties, knowing exactly what to expect from someone is a relief and a rare privilege. Consistency also reveals the strength of your moral compass. It is not easy to maintain your principles when they are tested, but it is precisely in those moments that true character is revealed. The Stoics, with their emphasis on virtue as the greatest good, encourage us to remain faithful to our deepest values. They teach us that no matter what happens externally, we should focus on what we can control, our own actions and responses. And here's the secret. Consistency is contagious. When people see you living your values day after day, they are inspired to do the same. This can create a wave of integrity and authenticity that can truly change the environment around you, whether at work, at home, or in your communities. You become a leader not by position, but by example. But how can you cultivate this consistency? Start by clearly defining your values. What is most important to you? Honor, justice, compassion, honesty. Once you have clarity about your values, make decisions based on them. Regularly ask yourself, does this action reflect who I am and what I value? If the answer is no, it's time to reassess. Moreover, hold yourself accountable. Consistency requires self-discipline, and sometimes that means making tough choices. Find friends, mentors, or colleagues who not only share your values, but also challenge you to live according to them. Accountability can be a powerful motivator, especially when you are tempted to make compromises. Another useful practice is to keep a journal. Record your actions and daily reflections on how you are living according to your principles. This not only provides a useful record of your progress, but also helps keep you focused on what truly matters. When you see in black and white that you have lived your values consistently, it reinforces your commitment to continue doing so. Being consistent also means being flexible enough to learn and adapt. Sometimes you may find that your values need to be recalibrated based on new information or experiences. Consistency is not about rigidity. It's about aligning with your moral core in a way that withstands the test of time and circumstances. This may mean adjusting your methods, but never your fundamental principles. Remember, consistency is a long-term commitment to your own character. It is not something you practice only when it's convenient. It's a daily practice that, over time, builds an identity that you and others can admire and trust. Through consistency, you not only earn respect, but you also gain a sense of purpose and fulfillment that comes from knowing you are truly faithful to yourself and your values. And that, more than anything, is the true sign of a well-lived life. 5. Mind your appearance. Taking care of your appearance goes far beyond following the latest fashion trends or flaunting luxury brands. It's a manifestation of self-respect and personal organization, elements that are deeply valued in Stoicism. When you present yourself neatly and orderly, you send a clear message to the world about who you are and how you value yourself. Good appearance starts with basic hygiene. Being consistently clean is a crucial first step. This means bathing regularly, taking care of oral hygiene and keeping your nails trimmed and clean. These are simple practices, but they have a significant impact not only on how others perceive you, but also on how you feel about yourself. Beyond hygiene, 
The choice of clothing you wear plays an important role. Dressing in a way that reflects self-respect and professionalism isn't about spending a fortune on clothes, but rather choosing pieces that are appropriate for the occasion and fit well. This shows that you've taken the time to consider the environment and expectations and that you strive to meet or exceed those standards. Keeping your clothes in good condition is just as important as choosing them. This means ensuring your clothes are always clean, stain-free and well-pressed. A sloppy appearance can often convey an impression of disorganization or lack of care, while well-maintained and properly fitted clothes can make you appear more confident and competent. Additionally, the way you care for your hair and any beard or moustache also says a lot about you. A clean, neat haircut and a well-groomed beard are essential for completing your presentation. Remember, you don't need to follow every trend. The goal is to find a style that works for you and conveys a positive image. It's also worth paying attention to accessories. They should complement rather than complicate your look. This includes everything from the watch to the bag or backpack you carry. Every detail counts in your overall presentation. Well-chosen accessories can enhance your appearance, adding a touch of personality without overwhelming. Caring for your appearance is a form of non-verbal communication. Even before you speak, your appearance is already saying something about you. Therefore, it's essential to consider what your clothes and presentation are communicating to others. Are you showing that you value yourself enough to take good care of yourself? Does your appearance say that you are an organized and conscientious person? These are important questions that deserve your reflection. Moreover, maintaining a good appearance can directly influence your self-esteem and the way you interact with others. When you know you look presentable, you're likely to feel more confident in your interactions. This confidence can open doors, improve your interpersonal relationships, and even help in your professional career. Taking care of your appearance is a crucial part of living according to the stoic principles of self-respect and discipline. It's not about vanity, it's about personal valuation and respect for others. Just as we care for our mind and character, we must take care of our external appearance. This is a way to honor yourself and present yourself to the world as someone who respects themselves and is ready to face any challenge with confidence and dignity. If you've made it this far, you're different from the rest. You're seeking knowledge in a world where most are distracted by superficial things. Show that you're different and join us. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. If you have something to say, leave your opinion in the comments. Otherwise, write, I am here, so I know you've made it this far. Until next time, warrior.